I truly am the most Sigma male here. The thing about these corn snakes is they do really well in captivity. Six and a half foot came in. Aww. Luckily, old Uncle Ben's been working with these for at least, uh, I guess, four minutes now since I got in here. I think this one's a twin. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate a bite. Ah! Good morning, everybody. This is my dog house. Dog house tour today. As you can see, this is my setup. Pretty cool, pretty epic. I like how it keeps this wall up. We're doing some light renovations on this barn here. Some little light renovations. My son named Paul. Filling up the pool. We got a little bit of rain today. I got all the ducks free ranging on the property now. It looks like Karen laid a couple of... Oh, hey, Kevin. You look happy today. Looks like there's an egg right there and an egg right there. That's a nice... Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? What are you scratching, sir? What are you scratching? It's so nice to see you. I've missed you. Kevin, look. It's my son, the baby. Look how handsome he is. This is my family. One thing I love about the baby is how he's so forward. This little man will just come right up to me and give me a little hug. This is my king, my son, and I love him so much oh slap me in the face a little bit pov the baby gives you a hug but he is a lot bigger now look at this adorable little man and kevin's also really friendly look at him he just likes to hug and kiss the fence he he's so friendly that he likes to just kiss the fence i find that if i hold him like this for a little bit he's not able to bite me and it kind of calms him down just a little tad but today i need to get this egg here i need to go over there and get those other eggs baby's grabbing me from behind now also turns out these are wild texas sunflowers hey good morning kanye good morning kanye okay Kevin's attacking that fence. I'm going to grab his eggs really quick. I truly am the most Sigma male here. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Obama. As the ducks are just everywhere now. Two more, baby. And I think this one's a twin, but we'll see. If it is a twin, it probably won't have. But that's it. I'm sick of this. I'm going to Florida. Okay, I just drove here all the way from Texas to Everglades National Park, owned by Chandler's Wild World. As you can see... Oh, oh. I was not invited. What's up, you guys? It's me, Ben. Today, we're going to be filming with Chandler's Wild World. We are going to be here checking out his crocodilian sanctuary. It is easily one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Shut up! Shut up! It's only been like two months, and he's already made this entire little crocodilian enclosure here. I'm just going to steal all of his trade secrets. I'm going to copy verbatim every one of his trade secrets. This is what passes inspection in Florida. It's definitely going to pass inspection in Texas. Texas has no laws at all. I drove. 22 hours for this i'm extremely unwell chandler's video was staged everyone his video was staged he didn't roll up on me we planned that we planned that ah! i can hear you starting a chainsaw i know you're starting a chainsaw i know you're good i know you're trying to get me this man really went and bought a ryobi chainsaw i got it just for you ben what is that some kind of little corn snake or something it's not gonna bite me is it no no Ooh. this is a native rattlesnake as you can see a police officer caught this snake and brought it to chandler's house so that he could eat it i think that's a good shot we can wrap it up that's good content so tell us about the snake. What happened? The eastern diamondback rattlesnake, mm -hmm. the biggest rattlesnake on the planet, native to Florida. This snake was actually found in somebody's front porch. Somebody actually wanted to kill this snake, but awesomely enough, the local officers know that I moved into this area, gave me the opportunity to give the snake a home instead of it being killed. Eastern dimeback is killed all the time. They're actually considered an endangered species because of how small their numbers are now. The patch of woods that he crawled out of to get to that property where he was found is gonna get developed soon. So I don't wanna release him there and then he ends up getting killed when they bulldoze that whole area. So how do you pick these guys up? So you should never pick up a venomous reptile, ever. I just have a lot of experience. Come on, show Uncle Ben. And what you gotta do is you avoid their heat pit. Explain what the heat pit is real quick. The thing about rattlesnakes versus cobras, which makes them way more, ooh, which makes them way more dangerous, is they have these things called heat pits. They have their nostrils so they can breathe. They also have these big thermal heat pits on the sides of their face that actually allow them to detect warm-blooded animals in the middle of the night like rats. Okay, so it sounds to me like if you uh, let this little guy bite you, your skin will rot from the inside out. Is that right? Like battery acid. Like battery acid. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate a bite. I'll put my hand right in front of him uh, just to show you guys that with the right anti-venom, you really are fine if you get bit with a rattlesnake. You'll be fine with anti-venom. No, Ben, no. Please do this at home. But yeah, guys, I'm over here at Chandler's Wild World. This is some kind of a cotton mouth. Uh, it was rescued by him, as you as you heard from his story. Very beautiful, adorable little baby boy. It is a cotton mouth. So that I think it's some kind of cotton mouth or maybe it's a corn snake. All right, you guys. So the thing about these corn snakes is they do really well in captivity, but you should never take 
snakes from the wild because they belong in the wild. So although this corn snake is very friendly and adorable and cute, we're gonna keep him right here because he is adorable and cute and this is where he belongs in Chandler's yard. Very good shot. Th special thanks again to Chandler for showing me his pet Eastern garter snake. Very pretty, very cute, very friendly little man. I'm gonna do a voiceover here and it's just gonna be me singing. Scoop diddy whoop. It's gonna be me singing scoop diddy poop. Poop de scoop de whoop. Whoop de <laughs> scoop de whoop diddy scoop poop. This right here is Chandler's a smooth green snake, smooth, uh, a rough green snake. Seems like these are some kind of um, uh, Eastern garter snake. So this is Chandler's set up a very beautiful setup at that he saw that i got some really nice high quality ponds and he had to copy me oh i'm sorry chandler are you jealous as you can see he's trying to copy me with these little dinky rinky dink I, uh, I just want to be like you ben please so i'm not allowed to film with this animal because this animal is a class three it is a crocodile no, it's a class, one. class three it's a <laughs> siamese crocodile a how's about i jump in there and jump on that no, thing no 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 joke's on you i can <laughs> jump in on this one <laughs> this is a class class two He's so I can I can here. swim with it this is a little caiman this adorable little handsome boy I'm gonna I'm gonna put my knees right in there and okay so tell us about this adorable baby boy I got a crazy call at like 10 at night that there is a huge caiman caught in a neighborhood and apparently they thought it was a nuisance gator the trapper showed up and it was a six and a half foot caiman sitting in someone's front yard six and a half foot came in. and the best thing about this is that old uncle farmer dad ben living in based texas which is way cooler than florida sure. doesn't even need a permit to own this i'm just gonna take this boy and bring him back come on get over here that's right for certain animals like this in texas you actually don't even need a permit to own these in the city i believe i could have this but i'm not gonna do that because we're not ready and also if i did half the things that chandler does on a regular basis i'd probably be four inches in the ground hey it's me chandler why not six feet? why not six feet you say why not six feet ben you know i don't really remember where i was going with this really cringe that chandler's trying to copy me and rescue animals <laughs> it's okay though uh it's a good thing chandler started his channel actually after he watched the urban rescue ranch you guys i inspired him to do all of this he's getting a little nervous now because this is a huge liability for him i'm not the one who's gonna get bit chub and tuck as you can see uh this here is a caiman and because they're invasive they were going to kill him that's actually protocol in fact the vast majority of these caiman catchers do kill them especially if they don't have a permit to keep them most of them don't in florida uh, although you don't need a permit to keep them in texas they are invasive here so you actually need a permit to just have them in your possession but what's wonderful is that chandler is a handsome beautiful boy who's Thank able you. to actually take these guys be oh, careful he will spin and rip your hand off what do you know chandler chandler was really the last hope for this little guy he was going to be euthanized uh but he is an adorable little man he is a little bit bitey right has he bit anyone yet no but he's whooped my butt bro just moving him around he's explosive he's like a little piece of dynamite he's a little spice on that crap you know what i'm saying and he does totally have the power to just immediately turn around and bite me right now if you want literally he could take your whole hand off before you could blink yep luckily old uncle ben's been working with these for at least uh i guess four minutes now since i got in here tell me about your plans for this little man chandler I'm gonna get a huge lagoon only thing is this was such a last minute emergency call that he had to get this makeshift enclosure just so he didn't have to get put down it's here now and then eventually you know we're gonna be doing big natural beautiful pond just like your place perfect yeah this is gonna look a lot like what's over there if not even bigger and then this is uh this is all you made this really quickly this is two by eights you with with tarp that's that's been pretty good so far has this gotten punctured at all yet no it's only like two or three days old i literally went and got the came in late at night and then the very next day i built this enclosure while he was taped up in my spare room then i got him <laughs> Done. That's awesome. So Uncle Chandler likes to grind uh, through the night, uh, just like uh, just like me. He likes to copy me. Uh, just like old Uncle Ben, Uncle Chandler likes to grind through the night, creating all kinds of enclosures uh, for the animals. And this is honestly really, really nice compared to a lot of other things I've seen fellas be keeping them in. Out here. These are the tractor supply things that just keep going up in value. And then you've buried the uh, what is this? Game fencing, this... so he can't dig out. Yeah, we have tons of that lying around. This kind of chain link is actually the proper FWC approved chain link. It's a and a half gauge so it's perfect and if fwc approves it texas parks and wildlife hopefully would. don't care about anything no <laughs> <laughs> we're a couple of cuties oh uh, also we both have heterochromia oh drop my little hat oh, here don't worry, it's just, go, it's it's just it. with the adorable little came in here this is my new store whoa i'm back wasn't that fun you guys i was gone for one day nothing like driving for several hours but thanks so much for watching my video guys special thanks to chandler for letting me come over to his place it was a rip snorting good time thanks so much for watching my video you guys i love you big ounce loves you and we'll see you thanks so much for what if Big Ounce is right here, then who's? Oh, I guess it was nothing. Ah!